Okay, what's up, YouTube? Fishing in 360. Okay, if you're wondering why I didn't make my bed, it's because that's the way I sleep during spring and summer. It's usually with a bed spread or just my clothes. Because one time during the summer, I threw the mattress sheet off because it got too hot in this room. So what I did was I took it off and threw it and slept in shorts and a shirt because it was too hot. Alright, this is a racist video, but this one is different. Okay, so here at UCLA, it's finals week. So we know that... Yeah, congratulations, it's finals week. Who gives a fuck about finals? Not me. Pardon my language, I don't mean to swear. I'm not the most politically correct person, so don't take this offensively. Of course you're not. I don't mean it towards any of my friends. I mean it towards random people that I don't even know in the library. So, you guys are not the problem. The problem is these hordes of Asian people that UCLA accepts into our school every single year, which is fine. Yeah, right now you're going off on the wrong thing here. But if you're going to come to UCLA, then... Use American. It manners. says UCLA student racist rant on Asians in the library for phoning the tsunami victims in Japan. So it used to really bug me, but it doesn't bother me anymore. And if you're wondering what kind of race my girlfriend is, she's Asian Cambodian. Or the fact that all the Asian people that live in all the apartments around me. Their moms and their brothers and their sisters and their grandmas and their grandpas and their cousins and everybody that they know that they brought along from Asia with them comes here on the weekends to do their laundry, buy their groceries, and cook their food for the week. It's seriously without fail. You okay. will always see old Asian people running around this apartment complex every weekend. That's what they right now, I think you're going off as a racist bigot. They don't teach their kids to fend for themselves. You know, they don't also teach them is their manners, which brings me to... Okay, manners? Why don't you try some manners? To my next point. Hi. In America, we do not talk on our cell phones in the library. Where? Every five minutes, I will be... Okay, not five minutes. Say, like, 15 minutes. I'll be, like, deep into my studying, into my political science theories and arguments and all that stuff get okay do me a favor and shut the front door yeah which actually means shut the fuck up pardon my language it all down like typing away furiously blah 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 and then all of a sudden when i'm about to like reach an epiphany over here from somewhere oh jing chong ling lan ting tong oh are you freaking kidding me in the middle of finals well, maybe maybe they don't know much about America. Is that a problem? Because a lot of people don't understand American laws. Why don't you go over somewhere else and then they tell you what's going on? So being the polite, nice American girl that my mama raised me to be, I kind of just gave him... Um, yeah, you are American because you're born here. But you're European. If you're white, you're European. Your ancestors came from Europe. You're European. Am I European? Yes, I am. My parents' ancestors came from Europe as well. So, really, um, why don't you just stop talking? Because you're from your ancestors are from Europe. That's where European. That's where whites came from. Was Europe? And what anybody else would do that kind of like. You know, it's got its library, like we're trying to study things. And then it's the same thing five minutes later. But it's somebody else, you know. I swear they're going through their whole families just checking on everybody from the tsunami thing. I mean Yeah, how would you feel if your parents died in a tsunami or any of your family? Yeah. I, mean, I know, okay, that sounds horrible, like Of course it does. Like, I feel bad for all people affected by the tsunami. But if you're gonna Do me a favor, get stuffed go call your address book like you might as well go outside because if something is wrong you might really freak out if you're in the library and everybody's quiet like you seriously should go outside if you're gonna do that so 
Thanks for listening. That was my rant. I just, even if you're not Asian, you really shouldn't be on your cell phone in the library, but it, I've just never seen that happen before. So thank you for listening and have a nice day. You know what really pisses me off? When you're in the middle of a movie, and then that's when someone uses their cell phone in the th movie theaters. This is just advertisement for this next video. Okay, so I just got finished watching a rant about Asians on YouTube. About a girl named Alexandra Wallace saying that Asians are basically annoying. I mean, really? I can't believe she even had the guts to post this up on YouTube because she knows YouTube is probably the most visited site to watch videos from. Wait a minute. YouTube is probably the most the guts to post this up on YouTube because she knows YouTube is probably the Yeah, a lot of people watch videos on YouTube. The most visited site to watch videos from. And so she just made her school UCLA look really bad. You know, I'm still a high school student. I'm still looking for colleges out there. And her being her a student from UCLA, how would I not know if there would be any other racist person? In it. You know, I feel really, really bad for her right now because she's probably getting many, many phone calls and her school is probably getting all up on her ass right now. They won't say it that on YouTube. And let me tell you one thing. I hate racists. I hate the bigotry that they have. As you've seen in my previous videos where I was defending Mexicans, that guy with the glasses and those girls and that guy with the glasses doesn't even know anything about um, American history because he's racist what what he said because Mexicans owned part of America first so that's where now we that guy's ancestors came from but that guy didn't understand so he said look it up and then he said oh fuck you because he didn't want to hear him anymore but he doesn't want to be proven wrong because he doesn't know anything about American history. Where did whites come from? Here, from Europe, by boat. Well, yeah. She really needs to shut up. No, she really needs to shut the fuck up, not shut up. I, I just really want to know what was going through her mind when she was making this video. Really. She should know that not just white people are watching her videos. She should know that every white people are watching her videos. She should know that every Asian from all across the world. Like there were some Mexicans who watched my video. One person said, thank you for defending Mexicans. It's people like you that make this world better. Asians make very good food. Today, I was hanging out with my girlfriend. We went to this little Asian festival and then her parents actually decided to take me to another one and then they just dropped me off recently. So I spent time with the love of my life today. And by the way, to say quite frankly, something that I would like to say to all you racist bigots, get stuffed because Asians and Mexicans both make really great food. Yeah. would be watching it. Well, maybe the world, but I know America. Okay. I don't want to know what she was thinking. If I was one of her friends, which I don't know why I would be, but if I was one of her friends, I would be really pissed off. Her saying Asians and Japanese, Chinese, Hmong, Laotian, Vietnamese, all the other races out there. It's My girlfriend is uh, Cambodian. Yeah. It's not just regular Asians. Like, it's not just even Asians that are offended. White, black, Mexican, Asian, they're all offended by this video. This Let me actually tell you one thing about American history. So, Asians came here first before whites. They even came here before Mexicans. Where did Asians come from? India.
And you're going to be like, uh, how do you know Asians came here first? Okay, watch. So there was a bridge that connected Russia and Canada. So they walked across the bridge and came here and took this land. It was free? It was their land. Then people, whites, came and shot, mistreated all Indians, you know? It's just showing how low you could be. It's really messed up. This girl, she's messed up. She needs to get a life. Shit. Also, in her video, it shows that her rack is sticking out pretty far, you know? And it's kind of disturbing. Well, for me it is, you know? I don't know about guys, but I'm pretty sure they would think the same thing too. It's annoying. It, it's kind of disturbing for me because no, because you're not supposed to strip on YouTube or show off your rack. No. Maybe in a rated R movie, but yeah. Um, one of advice for her is that she really needs to buy clothes or shirts that actually fit her size. <laughs> It's a really bad image, especially making a rant on YouTube. So anyways, what is it guys? Buy bigger clothes. Buy bigger clothes. So, I'm hoping that she learns her lesson. Lots of people are probably calling in on her, and so many people are calling her stupid, which she actually is, you know. <laughs> so, um, she really needs to get a life. I feel, if I was her, I would feel so embarrassed to go back to school. Like, knowing that there would be Asians there. Like, how would they feel? Like, she would probably get punched in the face. That's what I would do. But, hope she went through it. And you know, she's a college student. She's very lucky to even be accepted at UCLA. I'm pretty sure it's a big college. In Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, she's... If you said Los Angeles, Los Angeles is also the second biggest city in America. And if you were going to ask what's the first, that's obvious. New York. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. States that all of us Asians in general speak like Ching Chong Ling Ling. First off, what of advice for you? We do not speak about it like that. Like, what the hell does that even mean, you know? Um, uh, I'm specifically a mom. If I, if I were to say, uh, I'm specifically a mom. If I, if I were to say, um, Jimmo Mode, Kochi Pope, Kotata, Tetuni, Tesan, Don't Go Hill. Just kidding. You know, if you actually understood me, don't tell no one. <laughs> Probably get banned from YouTube and shit. Okay, so that's basically all that I have to say about this video. Um, and this girl, she needs to see a therapist. <coughs> she needs to take classes. She needs to read up on American history too. Involves being better and not being racist. You know, she's gonna get her ass. <laughs> okay, so this video. Hold up. So this video has eight eight thousand sixteen three hundred eighty two views, eight thousand the racist girl from UCLA has 1,954 or has over 1,954,941 views, 3,928 likes, 36,758 dislikes. Girl from UCLA, stop being a racist bigot because it's going to get you nowhere. And Asians were here before us because they came over. That's how Indians got here. Bye! And how did Indians get their name? Chris Columbus.
Because he thought he was in India, but he was in America, so that's why he called Indians Indians. By 